Hey you guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today is going to be an awesome day on the water. We're headed out here to do some pond fishing on a big pond in the jet boat. Let's go. Now you guys might recognize this pond back here. I've been here one other time a year or two ago. My buddy Galen let me in here in the kayak. and We had an awesome time out on this place. I haven't been back since, but we were talking the other day. He invited me back down. This time we brought the jet boat along. Should be really fun. Let's get out on the water and get to it. All right, we got the boat floating. We got Galen loaded up back there. The last time I was on this place, it was a solid three feet lower. And I can see that lately it's been another foot higher than this. So all this brush is all flooded all along the shore. These fish should be pushed up shallow, I would think. We've got everything from a wake bait and a spinner bait to a bunch of flipping baits. We're just gonna have some fun. It should be straight power fishing today. Water clarity, actually better than I expected. I expected high and muddy. It's high, but it's not that muddy, although the water comes in at the other end, so it may be muddy up there. We'll see as we go, but maybe foot, a little over a foot of visibility. It's pretty clear. Let's get to fishing. Well, we had to start somewhere. Might as well be at the bottom. We will work our way up. Look at that little guy. It was on a bright six inch Senko. Started out throwing a wake bait and a swim jig. We've only been on the water maybe 10 minutes. But I had two different fish come out and follow, not really show any interest. So I quick picked up a Senko. Given the water color, this is actually a little bright, a little bold, but I thought I'd try it anyway. It was literally the first cast with a Senko. Did you get one? On the board, we're catching fish. Nice, what are you throwing? Shatterbait? Yeah. Nice. Pond fishing or not, you still have to get dialed in. And I can tell you everything I thought coming into today, right? High flooded conditions, I was thinking mud. Bright Senko, black and blue jig, black and blue Texas rig, black and blue swim jig, chartreuse and white spinner bait. I have all the wrong things tied on. So I'm gonna sit down, switch over to some more natural things. Drop the Senko, go to a fluke, maybe put on a bluegill swim jig. I think we'll be able to adapt, pivot a little bit, and get into fish right away. Awesome. Throwing the spinnerbait. I took the bright off. I went to that tactical shed. Really natural. Flooded conditions are one of my favorite things to fish when the water's warm. And the water today is in the 70s. There's another fish swimming by. Fish will be so far back in this stuff. I love it. And the spinnerbait is such a just four-wheel drive bait. You can throw it anywhere, wind it through. Super weedless if you don't put a stinger hook on it. So much fun. Let's get another one. I twitched that coming by a log and he came out and just absolutely hammered it. That was fun. Got him. Thanks, bud.
fun. I took that Senko off. I put a super fluke on. Same hook, four aught, wide gap. That one's a red line. But just throw in that super fluke. You know, it's post spawn, water's warm. The reason I'm here today is one, pond fishing is fun. You never turn that down. Two, I heard flooded conditions. Now I was thinking flooded and muddy, which is unbelievable when the water's warm. That is the most fun you can have. Uh, it's, it's high and it's fairly clear. I mean, again, foot, foot and a half of visibility. It's not like it's clear, clear, but it's not chocolate milk. So we had to adapt the baits real quick. But these high flooded conditions, post spawn bass split, right? A lot of fish go offshore, they go deep, they move to those summer haunts, but there's a whole nother segment of bass that stay really shallow. And those fish are often overlooked. And in a situation like this, where we had a bunch of rain and that water suddenly rises, those shallow fish go really, really, really shallow. They go way back in the junk. There's nothing to stop them. They'll be back there hunting in those shallows. Uh, water temp is up, so metabolism is up. They'll cover water. They'll hunt all back in the trees and the brush. So you can flip, cover, you can spinnerbait, you can swim jig, you can fluke. It's just, it's like all the good things about bass fishing all at once. Hopefully we get a big one today. We haven't got a big one yet. We're just catching good ones, but I couldn't care less. If we just catch a bunch of good ones, I'm having a great time, but it would be awesome just icing on the cake. I mean, this is just an afternoon session. We got out here, I don't know, two something. Uh, we've just got a few hours to fish. We're just having a good time. But if we lucked into a great big one, that would be awesome. <laughs> Everything about that pocket said spinnerbait. <laughs> It's awesome. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Man, that's fun. It's that catalyst spinnerbait, Nichols catalyst. With a, you get him? With a three and a half inch Largo on the back. Man, that's fun. Yep. Hooked into like a three, three and a half, two trips in a row there and hadn't kept it on. That feels like a better fish. There he is. Speak of the devil. Hi. Hey, buddy. Good one. He smoked that spinnerbait. Man, I love a good spinnerbait bite. Now we're talking. How about that one? Went to a flipping jig, got the right fish. Awesome. Man, that's fun. All right, let's get that one back. Let me show you that setup. So we're catching quite a few fish. We've had a bunch of reaction bites despite the slick, calm conditions, but we're not getting any big bites. So I went ahead and picked up a jig because sometimes when those big ones aren't reacting, you know they're still around, right? There's a lot of small fish shallow, but there's still some big ones. So switched over to that jig, slowed down. That's a three eighths ounce pitching jig because there's a lot of debris, a lot of grass starting to grow. So I don't want to sink way down in it. Put a four inch, 
pack a crawl on the back of that one of my favorite trailers 7.5 heavy zodius and hammered him that's fun Missed him. Little fish didn't know what happened to him. Say no, man. Say no. Isn't that the truth? Man, when they are eating this jig, they're knocking feet of slack in the line. That is amazing. How fun. I mean, I love a spinnerbait bite, but there's not much that keeps up with that bite. Got him. Came back and got him for me. But we have done some. Doubled up. Same size fish too. Nice. There's one back there behind the camera, the exact same size on a, you flipping a. Super bug D-bomb. Flipping a D-bomb and I'm still throwing that jig. Choked it again. Man, that's fun. Get him. Nice one, man. Fish. Now we're talking. That's awesome. Well, that was ugly, but we got him. Nice. Look at this jig down in here. I, uh, I wanted to get deeper in the stuff. So I've still got the Zodius rigged up with a jig, but I put another jig on. I can't even get it out of him. Put another jig on the Jungle 7. True flipping sick. 65 pound braid. And started going deeper into the cover. And they are in there. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that one waked up in there to get it. It was so shallow. Three eighths. Dirty jigs. Flipping jig. The missile D bomb on the back. Here he 
Went back to the fluke for that one. That's, I'm losing track of how many fish I've seen before I catch them. You know, post-spawn is not normally the time that we talk about sunglasses for fishing, but it makes all the difference in the world year round. This time of year, especially what we've got today, fish pushing shallow up in and around cover. We're catching plenty of fish blind, pitching into trees, going down the bank, whatever. But I've had so many of what I call bonus fish. Fish where like you see a ripple, so you know there's a fish there. You throw over there, you catch an extra one. But in this case, the bonus fish are fish that I'm seeing either suspended up against cover or I'm seeing them inside of bushes, sitting in the shade, sitting under trees. I'm spotting those fish far enough out that I'm able to throw a bait ahead of them and lead them and get those fish to commit. And I'm catching more bonus fish than I am just fish from fishing. Uh, glasses make all the difference in the world. You need to be wearing polarized glasses. These are the glasses Tim and I actually designed. These are the I Surrender Tactical Bass and Glasses. They're super high-end lenses, super high-end coatings uh, at a very affordable price. We had an opportunity to build a glass that would benefit a lot of people, so we did it. Uh, and again, post-spawn is not normally where we talk about that. It's usually something we talk about around the spawn where people are looking in the water. But when it comes to catching bonus fish, glasses are everything. Make sure you can see in that water. Three Katex on a three out flashy swing. Wipe it in and barely start it. Oh, I dropped that one. Gee. Golly, that fish was so fast. So fast. That's one of the fastest fish I've caught in a long time. Wow, he covered some water. Look at that jig. Just in there. Awesome fish. That fish, how far did I have to burn? 20 feet before I could set the hook? He was running so quick. It's a big one too. Man, we're catching numbers, we're catching big ones. This is awesome. Come on, somebody eat a swim jig. Starting to get that lower light. We got a little haze going on. So I picked up that three quarter ounce California swim jig, D Walker that I always talk about. It worked. <laughs> hey, nice one. See that one. Nice fish. Crazy. Nice one. Smoked that jig. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up. <laughs> wrap it up here as Galen catches another one. It's been a long time since I've got to come out on a small body of water like this. Uh, I mean, this is a pond, but it's a big pond, big enough to put a jet boat in, which I have never done before. We didn't run the boat or anything, we troll them motored, but just an awesome place to come out and fish. We came out with a game plan, you know, shallow, flooded conditions, wanted to chase those fish up tight, expected murky water, so it took a lot of adapting, but we were able to adapt, 
dial it in and catch a pile of fish and catch some really, really good ones. Like always, I'll link all the baits, the gear, everything I was using in the description. I'll link the glasses as well as the lens colors because there, can you see those, the lens colors there? That color there, that's what I use when there's a little bit of sediment in the water. If you've got really clear water, you use amber. But if you get a little sediment in the water, whether that's algae, whether that's stain, whatever it is, that's the color. It just sees deeper, it sees clearer. Guys, I hope you had a great time. I had a blast. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thank you again to Galen for letting me come back out here. Had a ball. We'll talk to you soon.